Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so we do have a libra sun moon and as well rising on our hands and let's see guys what you are to experience into the uh, upcoming week so first thing that we are going to check out is going to be your uh, romantic life, love, relationship, uh, those kind of uh, experiences. And just give me a second to shuffle the cards and uh, I'm going to jump right into it. Right, so uh, first one that we do have, that is to be the King of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, uh, that is to be the Page of Swords. Uh, followed by the Two of Pentacles and the last one we do have that is the Two of Cups. Wow. <laughs> um, now the only thing that it makes sense here if it is the King of Pentacles is actually a person. Because usually with this spread, you don't read the first card as a person, okay? Just, this is just how the spread functions. But if, we, but if we don't read the first card as a person, then the reading doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Actually, it does, but it, all that it tells you, it, it tells you that you got to keep trying to kind of like the same, or how can I say it? Uh, it's... So keep up pressing into your current endeavors in terms of a, a love and romance. Obviously, it does attend to the, uh, or rather like it does addresses a current person of interest or, you know, current relationship you do have, a current uh, marriage that you may have. But the more interesting interpretation of the cards it is that if the King of Pentacles is actually a, a person, and uh, obviously that is going to speak for those that are single currently and uh, the card points uh, to that individual who is, um, well, first of all, why they are appearing into your horizon. Well, they, uh, these kind of people that are uh, described by the King of Pentacles, they don't do things just for the heck of it, okay? They kind of have some kind of a, a, a perception or a premeditated expectations, if you will. Usually those people are very uh, mature and settled down and then they, they just want something long-term. They just want family, let's say, which is a long-term thing. And they appear into your horizon because currently it is, uh, they see that, you know, you, you are a good candidate for, for the family, but that doesn't mean that you are the only one, okay? So uh, that is a, a misconception, or rather like it's a thing that I am uh, um, encountering throughout my practice, is that, for example, I, when, I see, when I say, you know, this person likes you, the person from the other side that purchased the reading thinks that they that they are the only one who the one that they are asking for is liking them. That's never the case. Okay, there is always multiple people, and I guess that you also have a multiple people that you do like. Okay, you may like one more than the other, but still, there are multiple people that you do like. In any way, in in any case, so that one currently it thinks that you are a good match, let's say it that way, and it is willing to invest time, emotions, money, depending on what, of what you need. But the thing with the King of Pentacles is that while they can be very generous, that generosity and charity, and as soon as they see that if you are responding or not, will depend on how the 
thing is going to move through. Just to give you an example, if they ask you out and you say no, that's fine. They're just going to move to the next one. Okay, so it's it's a game of giving and taking. As they give, they need to take. Okay, and as you give, you should take as well. Although they don't have any problem whatsoever with the giving and taking. So uh, it's not. I'm saying that because the next couple of cards are showing that you are not going to be very content about how the things are developing in this way. Maybe that you are not used to such kind of an interaction, but should you give it a chance, obviously with the Two of Cups, things are gonna work out. So uh, what advice I have to you, Libra, it is just, you know, don't judge the content by its shell. Because actually, when something uh, or out of something that looks completely casual and you have already scratched, scratched it out, Maybe it is your chance, um, you know, to make something big for yourself and for your love and for your relationship life. And once again, to repeat, for those that are in a relationship, uh, the cards, the message of the cards, it is just to kind of like press on the current one. And if you are on the verge of breaking it, give it a one more chance. So uh, that being said, this was about your relationship and love. And let's now have a look how your career is, uh, is looking. Right, so uh, first first one in terms of career, that is to be the devil, followed by uh, the Ten of Swords. After that, we do have the King, the Queen of Swords. And last one is going to be the Eight of Wands. Um, so uh, mainly this reading refers to those that are working on a time. It's kind of like approaching a, a deadline, uh, uh, things like that. Uh, and the reading itself points that there will be no compromises whatsoever. And um, it doesn't look like that you will be able to borrow yourself either more time, more funds, more anything. And whatever conditions you have talked about at the start of the job that you have started at the start of the project that you have started etc etc are not negotiable and that being said uh, that doesn't mean that if you do raise the question out it will be a simple no it could be a pretext for you to be laid off so you have to be very careful what you speak how you speak it and what you do in general. I mean, having the Ten of Swords there into this position next to the Devil card as the main one, it's not a good thing. Just saying, okay? So if I were you, I would lay lower than the grass and just wait for the week to uh, to pass away. That being said, though, uh, we do have the Queen of Swords into the third one and that is a uh, kind of like supporter, someone that it is um, uh, vouching, um, and what was the other word? Um, not mandating, but I forgot it. Uh, petitioning for you and etc. etc. So that particular person, when the when the things really hit the fan, uh, it will physically, I mean, uh, help you to sustain yourself. So that is someone who can definitely push your things through uh, and resolve your issues but it's not someone that is going to play around and kind of like uh, caress you or commiserate you. They are pretty rough when it comes to tackling with people uh, and whenever they see that you are doing things wrong or that you're not performing well, they're going to say it the way it is and it will hurt like, a, like there is no tomorrow. So be prepared uh, throughout this week to pretty much experience some let's say unpleasant circumstances when it comes to uh, when it comes to your career don't be pushy 
don't bet all or nothing. For example, saying either I get that salary or I am out. If you do not have any other option or, and betting that you are going to scare your uh, boss or your supervisor and they're going to give you what you want because it doesn't look like that this is what's going to happen at least throughout this particular week. So once the week is um, nearly to its end, we do have a clearance here of the Eight of Wands. And Eight of Wands kind of uh, in this particular case refers to some kind of insights that you are to, how, uh, to have how in a better way to proceed forward with uh, the career you have chosen, the work that you are doing, the business that you are attending to, etc., etc. Those that are looking for uh, a job, now this is a little bit more tricky interpretation that we do have. Um, again, they are going to receive a help of somebody, but the help is going to come through a that somebody is going to assess you and probably is going to tell you that the job that you are after, you are not ready for it to say the least, okay? And probably you should go for something more easier than what you are trying to establish yourself at. That is just what the card says, don't shoot the messenger. So that being said, Libra, uh, this was your a, a weekly general tarot, love and career reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys, and we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.